No. The fanboys whine. Our brand is being diluted. Uh oh. Time to call 9 Wawa, better roll the ambulance. In case you're unfamiliar, and just to lay all the cards out on the table, the dogma goes like this. Porsche builds sports cars. Specifically rear-engined, air-cooled 2 plus 2 sports cars. Obviously, we're talking about the much more than legendary 911. By countless on track, and back road, victories the 911, like the Jeep, the Mustang and a handful of other cars, is a true icon. Free from compromise and loaded out back with a Boxer 6, the 911 defines the brand. Except for the fact that the front engine, four-door Luxiat Panamera just outsold every other car Porsche makes. Of course, like all myths, the 911 story starts to look shaky under intense light. One can always go back to the fact that the basic design for the 911 is the lowly Volkswagen Beetle. We'd be derelict if we didn't point out that Hitler and Dr. Porsche, shall we say borrowed, the VW Bug design from Tatra and Hans Ledwinka, with Hitler assuring the good doctor that the Reich would take care of the patents. Never forget that Volkswagen had to pay Tatra 3 million Deutschmarks in 1961 because the Nazis flat out stole the T97 from the Czechoslovakian firm. Regardless of all that, the 911 was a modern interpretation of the original Porsche, the 356. And man did people love the 356. A quick leaf through Peter Morgan's Porsche 911 Collector's Originality Guide reveals that when the prototype 901, Peugeot successfully got Porsche to change the name to 911, was revealed on September 12, 1963 at the Frankfurt Motor Show, the cry was heard. It's not a real Porsche. The book continues, for some people, therefore, the company had lost its way with the 901 by building a bigger, more powerful and more luxurious car. Sound familiar? But even if Porsche's early history isn't as pure as the Aryan snow, Surely the middle part of the story explains why the rear engine 911 is held in such high regard. Well, yes, sure, but also not totally. In the 1960s and early 1970s most of Porsche's racing time and effort went into mid-engine competitors such as the 904, 908 and eventually the totally dominant 917 Can-Am cars. Ferdinand Pieck, arguably Porsche's brightest engineer and eventual Volkswagen Group chairman slash silverback gorilla, Focus not on the 911 but instead on the mid-engine superstars. In fact, a Piac tweaked, and mid as opposed to rear-engined, 914 won the GTS class at Le Mans and finished 6th overall, the same year the 914 won our import car of the year award. 